Hi guys, I'm International Master Min Lee, who is trying to play a rapid game here with the rating of like 1900 in rapid. So we play a 10 minute game, and I don't know, but I will try to do my best to explain all the things available, trying to give some recommendations and some lessons throughout the way. So let's be sure to ask questions if you want to, and obviously, hopefully, you enjoyed the explanation. Let's go. Start the game. 10 minutes. Can we find the custom challenges? Okay, so like this and like this. And let's go. Okay, here for the... Okay, I don't know why, but... Guys, should I keep playing now? I see it's 700. Should I play? Or we can find some other guy to play? Guys, should I play? Hello? Some, somehow I'm finding someone 700. I'll play someone else, I think. I mean, this is gonna be so brutal. So, okay. Okay, I think this, I think I should have worked, I guess. I mean, I hopefully get someone from, I mean, like, more than 1200, actually. Okay, now should be better. Should be better. So now I got Mac the Fork. Not seventeen forty eight. Okay guys. Now what do you wanna see? D4 or E4? D4, E4, C4. You can choose what you want to see for sure. <laughs> okay, E4, let's go. C5. Okay, so he decided to go for Sicilian. Sicilian? I did mention earlier, so there are plenty of stuff you can play for white against the Sicilian. I mean, like, you can play knife 3, normal thing, you can play the Smith Motor, you can play everything close Sicilian. But okay, I think I'm gonna play knife 3. <coughs> D6. Okay, he up for this setup. So now, guys, I mean, the thing is that what do you want to do? I can go for open Sicilian. I can go for the yeah. I can go for the rest of limo as well. I think that that are two main lines you need to know, and you should play for white if you want to get the initiatives. So now, what do you want to see? Rosso limo or open Sicilian? Yes, this is like must go as well. This must go as well. But, you know, we should be 5 is like Corona Solemo in plenty of choices as well. That's why I, I mean, I always say that. But that should be wrong, I guess. It should be wrong. Okay, Rosso. Let's go Rosso Limo. It should be 5. This is also called a Kano Attack. The idea for this one is trying to go for the castles really quick. And, you know, up for the center attack. This is super realized. Normally, I can do this one and this one. Then three moves. Next six is the rarest. Should seven is considered to be drawish. Should seven is something I can try and go for a win. And this line is pretty rare. Castles. E five. Hmm, okay, he wanted to go for. I think defending d4, but it's not easy for him. Still, c3. Hello, Chronic, for 3 months. This is the normal plan. You trying to up for the d4 push. Queen b6. Okay, now I think you can start the first question. Not so easy, I mean, not so easy. There are plenty of choices, but I can try as first. What do you think you can do with the threat queen b5? Why to play? Let's try to think for a while. And tell me what do you want to do against that? Let's go. One moment. We got someone knocking the door.
Okay, but right here, sorry. Okay, so there are plenty of stuff you can do for sure. There are plenty of stuff. Okay, I see we should see six or four. We need two a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I mean you can do this obviously, but you can take it with BC6. The first stuff easy to make. Normally here, so I want to retain the bishops. This is normal thing. In this line, 3 4 is the normal variation. 3 4. The thing with this move is that, you know, your bishop can come here. This is like the real best setups. And also, also you don't need to worry about his attack. 2 g4, nice move. But the spin, he prevents us from playing. Move h3. Bishop h5. He's playing pretty well. He's playing pretty well. D3. And D2 and defending knight f3. This is the normal way you can try to deal with the pin. Rook e1. This is how it works. This is how it works. Remember, remember this knight maneuver. Yeah, this is my sister. Yes, it is. She just went here. Knight g3. This is like the plan you can try to deal with the pin. That's why here you don't need to worry for this. And now we are getting the real best setup. Yes, this is real pass. You know, this is like, you know, the... I think the nice thing about the opening. Sometimes it can transpose to some other thing easily. Easily. Nice g3. Okay, now this is I mean, not normal for sure. Normal for sure. Okay, now what can I do now? This thing might be probably be hard for you, but this plan is also quite, I think, familiar. Knight h4. Why do this? Not only we want to take it if possible, but the most important thing is that we can go knight 5. This square is so good for our pieces, right? So good for our pieces. Yes, it is. Knight 4. Take here, you got 96, right? Take here, and you forget 96. You can take here, and now we can play knight f5. The square is going to be so annoying for him to deal with. The bishop can even be root to b3, and this diagonal is going to be so helpful. We can even think about h4, h5 next. Maybe 7. Now we don't take this. We don't take this, but instead we'll go knight 5. Take this one, he can play like the pawn takes like this, and now we cannot jump here anymore. But by this move, so we still can control a very good square for the knight. And the thing is that he cannot even, like, if we take back, we still, you know, have another knight to get in. You understand? This looks like the Rilla Pass. It's like the setup you do a lot in this kind of variation. Bishop takes. Knight takes. Mentioned earlier, right? Bishop f6. Now just keep the attack. Queen g4. Could bring the queen nearer to the attack. We also get the idea to go for something like this. You understand? G6. Okay. Now we are fine. I mean, like, we have plenty of moves to continue here. Yes, it is. But okay, let's think for a while. I give you guys the time to think. Why to play? What do you like to do in this position? For white. Let's think first. Just think first, no worry. I'm not really worried of getting low on time. Just so many moves. Okay, let's go here. First of all, by g6. Obviously, he doesn't capture the knight for sure, right? He cannot. So, we don't need to run the knight. The attack on the queen side is wrong. For someone who go for the attack on the queen side, you are wrong. Basically, you can hope for something good on that side. Especially when you're attacking here, right? The normal idea in this case is should be h4, h5. Like that. But right now, h4, you can play h5. That's why I love this move first. If you go like this one, my 6. You can simply go like king g7, something like that. 
I don't think you can try and go for some other plan. I'm not sure. I can try and explain things later after the game. And feel free to prepare your question. Feel free to prepare your question. Knight e7. He wants he want to treat this annoying knight. But we don't need to like scare for that. Actually, I mean, I don't even think you can win my tarot here. So let's play h5. Keep on attacking. Keep on attacking him. Take with the e pawn. You can see right now suddenly the pressure on the f on the g6 pawn is so huge, right? Suddenly the pressure here looks so huge. G7. Okay, guys, this is the end. This is the end. Take you first. And now the time only ask you a question. Why to play and win? Why to play and win material? Let's go. Sometimes you need to look at some kind of you know idea as well, and this works here. Why to play and win material? Just see the moves, just see the moves. Okay, let's go. First of all, f6 is super wrong. Super wrong, you can take the knight back. And our queen is under attack. You understand? That's not working. Second, for the guy who go for this move. I see a lot of you go for this one, right? But once again, Black can play this move again. You see that? He still got knight f6. Still got knight f6. So your queen is again un under attack again, right? That's why the move is bishop d7. And then if queen takes, we got f6, right? And we got this cover checks. And with that, we simply win the free knight. You understand? You understand? Feel free to prepare a question right now. I think the game is going to finish pretty soon. Yes. Group effort. Now, okay, you know, we can do plenty of stuff for sure. But I want to go for the most beautiful way to finish the game. I don't know if, if we can fall for that. But okay, I think let's play. Yeah, let's make a basic plan. I don't think it should be so so important to try to rule him. E3. The bishop is still stable. The bishop is still stable. Got this one right. I bring group to the attack. This is my idea. Now my time to bring group to the game and to the attack with the decisive effect. The bishop is still poison. Do you understand? Rook D8. Good. E4. I mean, run? It's fine then, right? You can still run. And now we can think about the captures. We can think about all the attack. Queen e7. Take his fire though. Take his fire though. I'm trying to see if it should be forcing. Okay, into a1. Simply bring the piece up. Rook f3. The bad thing for him is that right now his queen is under the lane of the rook. You can see, right? You can see? Yes, it's a disaster for him. Actually, he is trying to flat me. If you can see the time, he won't flat me. I know that. He won't flat me. G5. Good move by him. This is the only move to defend. Actually, it is. But okay, if he can play that, I can win normally. I mean, I should take an, I should take here first. I should take here first, I know that. I should take G6, G6 first. I know that earlier. But now, okay, the game might be a bit more interesting. Things that this queen is, you know, he needs to stay here to f6. Now I can simply swing my queen here around. I win the bishop, and I simply I can use my queen to get in. I can win by taking this earlier. I decided to torture him a bit by trying to tie him up. Tie him up. Okay, sure. G5. 
So okay, I mean, prepare for the questions, and we're we'll trying to answer all of that really soon, really soon. Okay, guys, this is over. I think I'm gonna try to submit this quick. It's over. The pawn here is dropping, and we just got this move. Take the pawn. Two G seven. Guys, finish him for me. Finish him for me. I give you like few, like okay four seconds left. I give you four seconds. Finish him. I will tell you the name of the mid later, but finish him. Let's go. You got 20 seconds left. <laughs> yeah, finally, yes it is. Here we got the mid. This is called ladder mid. G4 is absolutely working, but nothing can be more decisive than this move. So for the guy who can find this move, you're correct. When the rook cover the G file, this is called ladder mid, and I can remove this one confidently. He got no defense at all, and I got a feeling he was told me. Be waiting for the stall. Okay, thank you again. Yeah, he doesn't stall me. That is very very special. Yes, it is. Well, cage four wish three. The pawn on e3 when g2 defend here earlier. <coughs> GG, and I'm sorry as well. Okay, so let's go to the game. Sure. Time for the time for the game analysis. And be ready for all the questions. C6. Which be 5. Okay, so okay, and c 6 The main lines here go actually, I think it goes with c 3d4, you can go castle as well. The main line is like this. In the game, if I spear rare. The, yeah, actually, this is called a kind of attack, if you want to see. One moment. Like right, this one, one moment. Let me try to find, okay, the cannon attack. Here we are. The cannon attack. You can go for bishop b5, it's 5 for sure. I mean, this line is like super, super familiar recently. Obviously, I mean, I'm not talking about the main variation, but it should be fun. It's also a really nice thing to make. <clears throat> the cannon attack, yes, it is. C6, castles e5, c3. This is the idea. Queen b6. I mean, if he doesn't play, if he doesn't. Play queen b6. If you play something like we should g4, we can't even think about it right now like this. It's red though. It's red though. I'm gonna game queen b6. Should be four. Remember this stuff. Should g4. H3. H5. One thing here, you can see that black gets some w square here, right? But why can also opt for this kind of move like this one? This is like another way, I mean, very typical way to maneuver your pieces in this kind of variation. Yes, I mean, Moscow variation, can we attack, Rosolimo, that's only the thing related, related to the should be 5 move in move 3 for white. D3, in the game I played pretty solid and I decided to follow the main real pass stuff and I tried to solve the thing by my g3 and i kick this annoying bishop away mm -hmm. right this should you say nice four you go for this square f5 all things are still understandable right i think up to this point everything should be still understandable d7 this yes, f5 here take for the knight i mentioned in the game is that it got naive four here with this plan right but now i can simply mm -hmm. take like this and then like this and then here here right with material by force yes the super solid mode is like you trying to take the pieces yeah i think we should be fight like the pin the knight 
Like if you play Nasi 6, it should be 5. I don't know. But okay. Nice 4, nice 7, nice 5. Tice, tice. Nice 6, 6. Queen g4. King shape. Okay, here. Now's the time. Now is the time for me to answer the question. <clears throat> First of all, b4, right? My tricky. But what is the plan before? I mean, before to do what? Basically, here you are attacking in the king side. So why you go for this? Basically, it doesn't achieve anything. Take your nice five. I mean, it doesn't achieve much thing. So why you need to go for that? Also, right now, open up the b5 doesn't bring you a lot of stuff as well. So before this variation, it's not that necessary. <coughs> Second, see this one as well. But he can put h5. That's what I don't want to see. Since right now, right now, the thing is that you cannot push h5 easily. And also, I think he can free himself a bit. That's why I decided to go for bishop h first. I'm trying to time up with this one. Right? And then go h4. <coughs> h5 is nice. Black need to go for king shape. Also, another question here I want to ask you. Okay, if you go knight seven here, like this, guys, how can how can white? Actually, okay, no. Let's go for something like, okay, okay. Let's go. For, I don't know. Let's go for something like knight to d8 maybe. Let's go like this. Now, black want to bring the knight to a6 to be fair. How can white win material by force? Let's go. Yes, I mean, you got this kind of variation, and you can see this, right? And this is winning material by force. <coughs> yeah, that's same tricks. Apparently, same tricks. This is good in the game. Here, here, it's four, it's five. When, I mean, you just simply stick to your plan and go for the attack, right? And this is the, the end for him, it's five. Very dangerous. Once again, it should go king shape, I think. The only way to go for that. Here, I mean, the funny thing is that right now, the funny thing is that you don't have the this one anymore, and your knight have no, have no good discovery checks, right? So h5, I simply ignore the trap by him and go for the attack. H5, thanks, <coughs> thanks. He must go for this. He must go for this. To defend the pawn. I'm still better here. I can take this one, this one, and then take this. It should be three next, and then try and go for this one as well. <coughs> and what a second. Yes, it is. I forget the one ears hanging. Oh my gosh, I'm so blind. But this is also a red move to do. But he played Bishop G7 in the game. But sell it for him. I got this small. Move to win material by force, right? To be sure, it's stronger. I mean, I am even quite, you know, I don't really want to give the bishop for the rook, for the rook, only rook. Here, I should, I think, it should go. I think I should definitely go for something like this, I guess. This one and this one here, like this. Okay, now, guys. And the final, I, I think it should be a final question here. How can white frogs limit this point? This is a very common theme in tactics with the spawn f6. How can you frogs limit in this, in this position? Very common theme in this variation. This is very strong, root it. And now guys, how to deliver mid? How to deliver mid at this point? Root it. Like this. 
Twitch 3 is great enough, but you got something even stronger. Even stronger. Why do you need to go for Twitch 3? When you can go for that right away. This is the puzzle of stuff. And you know, this theme of tactics is very common. Very common. For sure. When you got the pawn f6. Right? The start is finished. Although, not really necessary. Yes, it's meant to either way. I know that, I mean, this is also winning for sure. But this is just more fancy. In the game, I play slower. I think I should have taken a g6. Earlier for sure. In the game, I think yeah, I was pretty slow then. But okay, whatever it is, I'm still winning. Basically, his process is completely tied up. I simply get in and over for him. Okay. Any question? Any question for the game? Before I mean before I'm going I'm going to call it a day as well. I need to ask a question. Anything? <coughs> well, three seven queen seven is still mate. Okay, I expect I don't see any question here. So I think time for me to call it a day as well. It should be pretty lit. Pretty lit. Okay. So thank you guys for coming here and for all the things. Let's stop recording first.